Hi, my name is Putri Sharina Binti Zalani. My number metric is 1054. Hi, my name is Anna Shazdina. My number metric is 1060. I am one of the residents in Spasik Gudang. And I'm going to be the MPPG call center. We are from DPI 3B. down the train. Okay, it is not surprising that in my residential area there are so many cases of dengue. This is all due to the cloth trains. I must report it to the authorities about this problem as soon as possible so that the mosquito breeding will not widespread and it can be resolved quickly. Later. Speaking on behalf of MPPG Call Center, how can I help you this afternoon? Hi, my name is Putri. I am resident of Taman Pasir Putih in Pasir Gudang. As the representative of the community, I am calling you to tell that the 200 residents living in here are actually unhappy about the drainage system in our locality. I'm really sorry to hear that. Can you tell me what exactly happened there? There is a big problem here which we are presenting as there are 3 to 4 batteries of sand nearby that usually throw the waste into the drain. The drains are clogged with sand, trash and construction sediment and debris. During rains, water collects here and there and drains overflow which cause the flooding. The water stagnates giving rise to mosquito, minas and malaria. In general, the local authority is responsible for the construction and maintenance of the local drain system. Have you report this matter to the contractor and appropriate local authority who is responsible for the maintenance of these drains? Yes, I have issued many complaints to the contractors before but there was no action being taken yet. People are suffering a lot and there is a lot of trouble due to the Recently, I am really concerned about the residents' health, especially the children. There are three new dengue cases during the past three weeks. This all happened because of the cloth drain scam. In a the big mosquitoes to breed. I am also disappointed with the workers for not clearing the cloth drains which are filled with rubbish. I sympathize with your situation. I can see how this problem must have been frustrating for you. Thanks for alerting us to this issue. I will try everything I can get to get this fixed by the end of the day. Wait a second. Let me see if I can check first because I need the access time to emergency repair works as well as for the drain maintenance. May I know where is the, the where is the exact address of the factory that calls for the clogged drains? Sure, the factory is located at number 32 Okay, I already sent technician, which is the Solid Waste Management and Public Tracing and Engineering Department, to inspect the surroundings area and inform them to clear the drain. However, fixing a corgate drain is time consuming, so it might take some time to fix this. Some plumbing jobs also require special equipment and extra manpower to finish the job. Contact our public cleansing and engineering department. It's seven six five four three two one. You can contact them afterward if there are any things that you need to clarify. Thank you very much. I will surely contact them soon. But I wonder if the authorities will take this action seriously. I'm very worried that they will think that this matter is trivial. Yes, don't worry. I will make sure that they resolve this matter immediately. Okay, but I do have one small favor to ask. Is there any mosquito fogging operation has been taken by the authority before this? 
Yes, but the foggy service was not done according to the schedule. The foggy authority only did their job whenever a case of dengue arise. Last time they did the foggy was three months ago. Until now there was no foggy or any other mosquito control steps taken by the authority. There are a lot of mosquitoes in the area, especially in the stagnant water of the drain. Oh, I see. If that's the problem, we will make the necessary arrangement accordingly for the fogging operation. I will inform them today so that they can be prepared as much as possible for the anti lava spray. They might carry out the fogging operation between 4 30 until 6 30 pm tomorrow. I will call you later to confirm this. I truly appreciate your help. I hope this complaint will not fall on the hands of it. You must take immediate necessary steps to improve the sanitary condition in our locality. I have four more things that I want to ask you. Do you have any suggestion to resolve this, this before the authorities come to our residency area? Of course, we will take street action against the factory as well as monitor the surrounding area and clearing the clogged drain. And I will try to make the schedule for the foggy arrangement at least twice a month. Mm, but, uh, okay, to answer your question, I think that you can invite the neighbors to work together to clean the drain area that has a lot of garbage before the authority arrives so that they can be easier for them to scoop up the sand inside. Moreover, the residents are also advised to maintain the cleanliness by not throwing rubbish into the drain to prevent dengue cases. The question of the cleanliness is shared responsibility and should be emphasized. That's all. It is. is there anything else that I can help you with this situation? Thank you for the sharing. Mm, no, that will be all. You have done so much for me and for the community. Okay, thank you to you too for letting me know about the problem and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye. You too, goodbye.